Hey Overland Travel Adventurers, today Carol and I are on another adventure. Carol is on the Sondor Step and I am on the Sondor's Fold X. These are electric bikes and if you've watched any of our other videos you know these are a total blast. So today we are going to ride these bikes from Cavallo Point Lodge which is on the Marin County side of San Francisco Bay and it is just an incredible place to stay. It's an old military base that they've turned into a lodge, and it is just absolutely gorgeous to hang out here. So we're going to ride from here over to the Golden Gate Bridge. Come along with us. It's going to be fun. If you've never done it, it's quite a sight. Oh, and here are some vintage electric bikes, which are really cool. It's a great company. Okay, we're starting our ride, and it is just a perfect, beautiful day in the bay. And just right around the corner from the lodge, you can see it. We're at the bottom, right on the bay, and we're looking up at the gate, the Golden Gate. And as you're riding your bike, you're going to go through some of these uh, type of places where they've got the crossing arms. They're usually open. There's actually a guy there. It's just security to make sure nobody comes in and tries to blow up the gate, I guess. Usually when you're looking at the Golden Gate, you're looking at it from far away, big pictures of it. It's really impressive. But what's really impressive to me is to get up underneath it and see how this thing was put together. It's, it's, it's just crazy. It's like a giant erector set, if anybody remembers what those are. Uh, but you can just ride through it and see all the details. Uh, riding from where we were, this is a pretty steep hill. And if you're on regular bikes, of course you can sure do it. It's paved, so it's easy. But on the e-bikes, on the Saunders bikes, man, this is just a piece of cake. Uh, so we have to ride all the way up from the bay level up to where the bridge level is so that we can get on the Golden Gate Bridge. We made it up to the top, and there's another security gate, so we're cruising through that. So I think it was good to show that. It just lets people know that there's things like that that you have to go through. It's very easy. They're usually open, no big deal. So when you get up to the top, it depends on what time of day it is to see what access they're allowing. A lot of times the, the what is this, the west side of the bridge they're allowing bikes only, uh, but unfortunately today we had to cross over or actually under uh, the bridge and there is a walkway to do that. So you can see that we're just walking through that walkway to cross under the entire bridge. It's very loud under here. You've got a lot of traffic going overhead and banging around and stuff like that, but you're safe. There's a cage around it, that sort of thing. But when you get to the end of this walkway, there are stairs up. And with the electric bikes, they're a little bit heavier than a regular bike. But if you'll notice on the left-hand side, there's a little ramp. So you can put your wheel on that and then just walk up the steps. Okay, here we go. Let's go across the bridge. This is going to be fun. It's going to be a long video too, but you get to see the entire crossing of the Golden Gate Bridge. So hang in there. It's cool. So I'm going to tell you, it's a little bit nerve-wracking riding across the bridge. We've got pedestrians, families, people. We've also got bikers that are coming. So you have to really mind what you're doing. It can get pretty close and treacherous at times. Uh, I don't think you're going to hurt yourself unless you just run into somebody. But you also have the traffic whizzing by you at like 60 miles an hour on your right. So it can be nerve-wracking. So understand that. And today is also a perfect day. It's not windy, foggy, or anything like that. So you get the picture. This is exactly what I'm talking about. It's just a narrow spot on the bridge. Got some folks here. I got a slip past them. I got a biker coming. You can see how tight it is. One of the nice things with the Sondor's bike is it actually has a thumb throttle. So when you're in these tight spots, you can just hit that little throttle and it'll give you enough momentum forward and then you can start pedaling again. So instead of having to start and stop pedaling, it's really nice. Oh, look at these tourists, aren't they cool? <laughs> Doing the selfie.
And now we're coming up to one of the first towers. This thing is just so, so massive. It's just unbelievable. Check it out. The Golden Gate Bridge is 1.7 miles long, 90 feet wide, and it's 4,200 foot main span between these two towers was the longest for a suspension bridge until 1981. These towers are 746 feet tall. A lot of people may know this, but they are continuously painting the bridge. So there's always a painting crew somewhere. And luckily today they're on the other side. That's probably why they weren't allowing the bikes across, across there. So we had just a clean shot all the way across. Look how beautiful that is. Oh man, you can see Alcatraz off in the distance in downtown San Francisco. Angel Island where we were the other day. And now we're just cruising right across the bridge. So beautiful. Another thing if you're a tourist you have to be mindful for are the locals and they come flying across on their mountain bikes, road bikes, everything. So they're cruising from one side of the bridge to the other back and forth. And just be careful, let them by, give them plenty of space. Now you can see it's a good view. You can see the suspension cables going up from the lowest point up to the top of the tower. So over to the right, you can see the Pacific Ocean as it's coming into San Francisco Bay. You've got Marin County at our back and San Francisco straight ahead. And then over off to the left is the San Francisco Bay. Now we're coming up to the second tower just so majestic look at that thing and this is just the top part of it it goes all the way down to the ocean from here and it's a long way down what's cool is you can see all the rivets and everything Well, we made it. We made it across the bridge and through the last gate out. And then now you come to a park at the top of the bridge and they are repaving some of it. So we're trying to figure out exactly which way to go. So we're just gonna head where the other bikers are going. That's a good indicator. All right, Overland Travel Adventures, we made it to the other side of the bridge, and that is our adventure for the day. As you can see, it is another gorgeous day in the bay. So come back and hang with us again.